I'm going to be testing free art supplies which I ordered from wish.com and if you don't know what wish.com is it is a marketplace website where you can buy lots of discounted things and sometimes they have free products on there you can get anything from vegetable slicers to art supplies to socks they do all sorts of things and they do have free stuff but you do have to pay the shipping on each item and you have to pay the shipping separately so it's not really free but the shipping is only one or two dollars so it's quite a good deal so I thought I'd see what free art supplies I could get and see if I could do anything good with them so what I ordered I ordered firstly this brush pen kind of see all in a language I don't understand so we have a brush nib on this end and a bullet nib on this end so that'd be quite good because I always really struggle with brush pens so I wanted to try one that was not very expensive or free in this case to practice a little bit. I also have these fine liners there's one two three four five six and they have sort of like a metal nib kind of strange and they have the ink inside and a nice little diamante on the end because you know why not so I think they're water based so we'll see how these go and I also got some of these water brushes and I've never never tried these I've always wanted to try these so I thought it would be good to try them from Wish because they're free and there's three different ones so you put the water in here squeeze it paint rather than keep dipping your paintbrush in water never tried it so we'll see how they go and I also because I'm a big child and I wanted to get a toy um, I got these um, what are they UV pens so you write with this bit here and now like invisible ink and then you so you pull this tab out and then there's like a uv light that will read your secret message so that's good fun and finally i got this 2b mechanical pencil i've never got a mechanical pencil in anything other than hb before so it's a nice nice blue color nice nice color and it comes with some replacement leads as well and an eraser which i wasn't expecting so that's good points there and also in this package they sent some really cute stickers look at that and this really cute little business card so let's see what we can make with these free supplies so I began by testing out the supplies first. I'm using some watercolour paper, just a small bit, because I'm using the water brushes later, so I thought it would make sense to use watercolour paper, but I didn't want to use too much. So I used two pieces, two, well, I cut an A5 piece into two, so it's two A6 pieces, one for the swatching and one for the art. So I'm trying the mechanical pencil, and I was really impressed with this pencil. The lead is really nice and thick. I don't think I have a thick, leaded mechanical pencil so that's really good and the lead's really good quality it lays down really nicely it erases well you can get variation of gradients with it and it's nice to be lead and it's to be honest much better than any other mechanical pencils that I've paid money for so I'm definitely going to be using this again to sketch with and now I'm trying out the pens, the fine liners, and they are actually advertised on Wish as gel pens, and they kind of behave quite like gel pens, apart from the nib. The nib is really odd. It's like a metal nib coming out of kind of a star-shaped plastic. It's very, very strange to work with, but they're really cool. They have some good colours. They're not nicely pigmented. There's quite a lot of ink in them although the ink does get clogged up a little bit but that is pretty standard with gel pens I think but yeah they weren't too bad at all so now I am trying out the UV pen and it's quite difficult because you can't really see what you're doing so you have to really guess what you're doing unless you use the pen but here is my secret message revealed so I hope you enjoy my little secret message there I do really think that these pens are my favorite part of the haul at first I was like oh I'm not actually going to use them in the artwork but they were really cool I just had to so now I'm trying out the water brushes and never tried out water brushes before and I wasn't really sure what I was expecting but they were okay. A couple of the brushes when you squeeze the water out leaked a little bit but I think that's common especially with cheaper stuff and I'm using one of my Cotman pans and I am going to use the Cotman pan in the drawing just to make use of the water brushes and I did try to break down the gel pens with the water brush but didn't really work because I thought that it was just water-based ink. I didn't remember that they were advertised as gel pens. But so the water did break down the ink, but not 
in the way that I expected you still have the harsh line as you can see underneath the sphere there so now I'm trying out the brush pen and I did really like this brush pen although I really do need to get better at using brush pens especially lettering and calligraphy because I think this is meant to be a calligraphy pen so for the art itself I decided to go quite simple I'm using an A6 piece of watercolor paper because I'm using the water brushes and I wanted to do a kind of wintry scene because we're coming out of autumn now and we are getting into the cold winter days especially in the UK it's getting very cold so I thought I would do a nice snow globe with a deer in it I didn't want to go Christmassy yet because it's not Christmas yet it's still November is it November is it November when this video is out I think it's still November when this video is out so yeah I wanted to go wintry rather than Christmas so I did a little deer and a snow globe and my main problem with this piece was my patience I wasn't very patient in letting the layers dry and that is a common problem that I have with all types of painting with acrylic painting with watercolor I'm really really impatient and that's why I enjoy trying out digital art because I didn't have to worry about that so I'm going over the top with the gel pens while it's still slightly wet and it does give a good effect but I really should have been patient and let it dry because you get a little bit of bleeding and I think the biggest struggle I think with this piece was colouring in the base of the snow globe with the red that I'm trying to do now I did try to break it down with the water to you know so it wasn't a big space coloured in with gel pens because that would take a long time and I'm like I said very impatient you can't get the seamless transition from the pen to the page if that makes sense you get the harsh line even though it does blend out as well not really explaining myself very well but I think you can see what I mean I wanted to do something to do with Wish because I'm using free supplies from Wish so I wanted to kind of get that in there and I did really like all of these supplies I think they were all really really good there wasn't a single supply which I was like oh this is a bit naff and considering they're all free as well or not quite free because of the shipping but you know they're one or two dollars each they aren't bad at all and I think my favourite were their UV pens because I think they really pull the piece together so if you're new to my channel before the video ends just quickly welcome my name is Katie I make art videos I do lots of challenges speed paints all that kind of thing I have a little mouse character called Charlie so I'll leave a link to him up above so you can go and check him out do feel free to subscribe and if you like this video if you know it emotionally please do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out and I did use my white gel pen just to finish off the glass globe just to make it look a little bit more glassy and to give it some highlights and I'm also using the UV pen to add some little flecks of snow and stars inside and outside of the snow globe and I was really surprised because I thought that this would remove some of the colour from the paper but it didn't at all and here is what it looks like with the UV light and I think it really does tie the piece together and I really do love these pens I think they're really awesome and really fun and really cool because I'm a big kid and also here is how it looks in the dark with the UB pen and I think this looks really really magical and really really fun and I'm really pleased with how this turned out but that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed me making art with free art supplies from wish.com and I will see you next Thursday bye for now